good afternoon. Today, I'm going to introduce you to James Cool Papa Bell, known as the fastest man in the Negro League, and quite possibly in baseball history. He started out with the St. Louis Stars as a left-handed pitcher when he was 19. His cool demeanor as he struck people out with an assortment of curveballs and knuckleballs and screwballs, as well as how he handled himself like he was a veteran when he was a teenager, is what got him the nickname Cool Papa. He was in the Negro League from 1922 to 1946, and he won championships with the St. Louis Stars, the Pittsburgh Crawfords, as well as the Homestead Grays. Now the stories of his speed are legendary. When Satchel Paige spoke about him, he said that one time he hit a line drive right past his ear, and when he turned around, he saw the ball hit Cole Papa Bell as he was sliding into second base. In another story, they were sharing a hotel room, and he said that Cool Papa Bell turned off the light and he was in bed before it got dark. Now that actually could be true because there was a short in the light switch, but it still makes for a great story. Bell was also a switch hitter, and even though he wasn't a power hitter, he was able to take extra bases because of how fast he was. Even Jesse Owens refused to race him. In addition to the Negro League, he also played several seasons with the Mexican League, 21 seasons of winter ball in Cuba, Mexico, as well as California. Later, he was a scout in the early 50s for the St. Louis Browns, and he was elected into the Hall of Fame for uh, Major League Baseball in 1974. He passed at the age of 88 in 1991. So that is today's little known history fact, history bite about Cool Papa Bell. I have on a St. Louis Stars t-shirt today. You can find all of our apparel on the website, blackbeforeyou.com. Empowering our future by honoring and preserving our past. This is Kim. Have an amazing day.